around game. We in this in this thing I say around uh, game. We in this in this thing I say around uh, game. We in this in this thing I say around uh, game. We in this in this thing I say. Uh, Hey, we be talking about them Aries. It's that August energy talking about them Aries. Na, 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 na. What's up, y'all? Goofy sales. <laughs> this is for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sun, sign of Aries. All right. Um, This is general. If you need a personal reading, please hit me up. That information will be in the description. Also, um. I am extending my reading special. I um, was found out today we're traveling. <laughs> so with that said, um, I am going to be taking readings later on this evening, but I'm going to be extending my reading special. So I'm going to make a video about that um, for the next another 24 to 72 hours because of course a lot of people, Aries, who I've been reading for a lot lately, and yeah, I've been tardy. Everybody been tardy to the party. Got the memo late. So with that said, I am going to extend that because I do want everybody to save as much coin, as many coins as they can because right now people is trying to gather the coins. You know, not pour them all out. So I'm fair. Okay. Um. Also, whew, this will be from the first to the fifteenth of August. Well, sorry, tardy. <laughs> But uh, um, it will be from now to the 15th of August. Okay, again, if you need that personal, hit me up. Right, so, Aries. Oh, also, how dare me. Welcome to the Mogul Love Tarot Channel, y'all. Like, y'all know who the hell I was. This is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, I'm Mocha. Hey, boo, hey. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, I may cuss a little or not. Just depends on what the these cards say, okay? Also, um, I would like to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. All of my new subscribers, my... Welcome to the family. Okay, we cry, we cuss. We, we, we don't get into it here. We don't do all of that. I would delete them damn comments. We don't. We don't do that. So, you know, we are a family. We don't judge. We just evolve. We grow. We uplift. We enlighten. All right. So, with that said, this is for my Aries. My Aries, I'm going to start off with the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay. What you pull for the, from now to the 15th of August is Clear Quartz. Let yourself feel all of your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages, messages with the retrograde on my ass and guidance. Okay? So let's get it. Clear course. This card guides you to open up your heart to the entire rainbow spectrum of emotions. This is a key to feeling great love. By allowing yourself to acknowledge the not so pleasant feelings, you drop defenses and open your heart. When we deny existence of anger, sadness, and such, we close off part of our hearts. And the denial means that these feelings become repressed, stuffed down, and hidden where they can affect our mental, emotional, and physical health. This card can be a sign of receiving valuable creative inspiration based on some challenges, challenges you've experienced. Now you want to help others overcome or avoid the same challenges. Hey, y'all. By delving into the unpleasant feelings through creative expression, you allow others to know that they are not alone in their feelings. This could be a business idea, a form of healing, a book of work, book or workshop, or some other service or product that will help those who are experiencing similar difficulties. Aries, our general purpose here are to be spiritual teachers. So if we're experiencing things from the from now to the 15th of August that are uncomfortable, yet you have to experience that uncomfortable feeling because a lot of us are sages. We are the pioneers. We lead the way through the wisdom that we gain and the experience that we've lived through in order to inspire another one not to walk down the same paths. That's what I'm here on YouTube for. Hey, boo. Hey, how you doing? I, Aries, am doing my thing. Okay? So if you've been feeling the need to cut people off and be true to yourself, and if it's doing your thing, we need all the light workers here on YouTube. All the light that can be shined, all the love that can be shared, everything that, every piece of light that can be shed it out and pushed into the universe, we need all of that. So bring it in. Get your mind right. All right? From the first of the 15th of Aries, some of y'all have someone. Whew. From the past, and yes, that definitely resonated for me. If y'all be wanting to know, does this resonate with Mocha? Hell yeah, it does. All right, um, <laughs> you, some of y'all could be dealing with children or 
something involving children, okay? Possibly seeds that you planted in the past, all right? You have the crow. Some of y'all have been seeing uh, possibly vultures or like crows or something signifying that is the death of your old self skin getting ready to shed off of you, you being able to fully heal. That dark, uh, that blood moon for a lot of us really activated, you know, that passion, that spark to want to move forward and really move past things emotionally in the past that really drained us or really kept us in that devil energy, okay? So a lot of us are really being truthful to ourselves, being truthful to our surroundings. And you have someone possibly with a darker on a lower vibration coming back from your past and you possibly having to kind of stand your ground. You're going to be standing your ground. A lot of you are needing to get in nature between now and the 15th of August. I feel like in nature will you find a lot of your answers, okay? Watch the birds. The birds are speaking to you. Some of y'all could... Um, be feeling a little dark, okay, or feeling imbalanced, possibly regarding a situation that involves children, or some of y'all will be finding our child pregnant during, uh, from now to the fur of the 15th. Mocha love the kids. Congratulations, boo. Okay. Also, some of you could also be dealing, with, well, some of this could also have to do with a Gemini. Some of you could also have been on your path and your journey of, um, aligning your chakras, aligning your chakras, and you will continue doing that, okay? But some of y'all will have to balance your light and your dark, okay? Some of y'all gonna have to Literally, you're going to come in the face of your shadow side this month, but between now and the 15th, whether it's a person that's going to bring this out of you, okay, but it says Aries, do you be cool or come out of a bag? Do you react or do you respond, all right? Some of y'all, us, okay, I'm going to say us because it does resonate. Some of y'all are not wanting to make a decision, okay? Some of us are not wanting to see the truth in the matter here. Some of us have possibly a Scorpio or a Pisces, okay, that could possibly be moving around us in a lower vibration, okay, or possibly some of us are going to have some secrets revealed, and I feel like it's having to do with a toxic person or a toxic situation that we have either coming into our energy or someone who needs to be released from our energy, and these shadow sides, these shadow phases of the moon are allowing us to actually heal, okay, and allowing us to move forward and making decisions, balanced decisions, okay, especially those surrounding children and moving forward. For some of us, it's going to be a co-parenting situation. For some of us, it involves divorce and custody battles and stuff like that, things of that nature. For some of us, it's literally conquering your dark side, okay. It's literally going to be a month of you against yourself, Aries, but stay optimistic and have faith, okay, because I feel like some of us are being regretful or finding ourselves falling back in this regretful energy, and that needs to be purged during this retrograde, especially with Mars being back at home. That is going to be purged during this time, okay? So just heal, my baby. Whatever it is that you need to do, whether it's a spiritual bath, whether it's getting out in nature, whether it's writing, whether it's being creative about um creative about making a decision do whatever it is that you need to heal do do to heal on your core okay so please give me messages for my aries so we we'll have to do this from now until the 15th of august okay let me see and some of y'all could be finding out truth or getting truth and clarity regarding an aquarius leave with gemini some of y'all feel like this person is toxic but some of y'all you or this person feels like there's not any reciprocity in a relationship. There's not an equal give and take. And even though you know this, I feel like during this time, you're going to be definitely trusting your intuition. Your intuition is going to help you make a decision. Some of you all have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that wants to work, that wants to start over with you. They want to move forward with the equal give and take, okay? Especially if you cut this person off during this retrograde period. Moving forward, some of you are going to move away from your past. Okay, you're trusting your issue. I'm not trusting your issue. Trusting your intuition as far as uh, dealing with someone who has a toxic energy. This could also be a Leo, but you're definitely ending one cycle, Aries, and moving into a new cycle. Some of you have, a, some of you are going through an indecision and not making a decision uh, when it comes to dealing with a Virgo. Okay, during this time, you're not wanting to make a decision, Aries, but you have a new beginning waiting to be birthed. Okay. I feel like a lot of you have been having money issues. You're coming out of a cycle of feeling like you don't have enough. Okay, leave that poverty mindset. Leave that poverty mindset behind with this retrograde as we move forward, okay? 
have all. You have all. You will have all. Okay. Some of you have a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly that you were dealing with in the past. Okay. This person is coming in and there is a sense of deception or sense of secrets with this person. Okay. This person, I feel like the obstacle moving forward is going to be getting past this person because I feel like with this person, you have a strong sexual attraction to this person. You and this person are very attracted to one another. There's a lot of passion. However, it could be, I feel like it's reached the point of codependency and some of us Aries were healing from that, okay? So you're needing to speak your truth with this person in order to move forward to there being a level of reciprocity. For some of you, this is the mother or the father of your children. Yeah, some of y'all have a, a earth sign that you're dealing with and you feel like this person does not give you Everything that they can give, you feel like they're giving less than what they can give. Some of you are, some of you have a new Pisces in your life. You're going to move forward passionately, possibly from this devil codependent ass energy or someone in your energy being codependent or narcissistic, possibly in the past. Maybe with some truth being revealed is going to allow you to heal, okay? But some of you, you're going to heal in a healthy way in order to have a healthy co parenting relationship after cutting just the sex and toxicity out of a situation, okay? Some of you are going to make a decision to move forward with someone, possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, some of y'all have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong emphasis on Capricorn, making an offer of wanting to start over with you and go into a new cycle with you, but you're walking away from this person from the past. This person coming in contact with them as well as having to fate, overcome that shadow side because we claim that in advance, we overcome the shit, you understand? We move it, this, 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 this the shit, this the shit, okay? In fact, this the shit, this us, we walking away from that shit, okay? We overcome the shit, all right? We speaking that out. We putting that into the ethos, all right? But some of y'all are going to be able to renew a family situation with a fire sign and actually passionately move forward. There is going to be an equal level of give and take. There is needing to be a strong level of communication between both you and this person, okay? And there will be. I feel like areas you may have to actually, um, a lot of us don't want to, we don't want to, initiate the conversation but you're needing to initiate the conversation and get it off your chest in order for you to fully heal because i feel like a lot of y'all been holding on to this possibly for the last four to six years okay but in the last year you've been thinking about it strongly whatever this is some of you are coming out of a cycle of being defensive but some of you you got an aries coming back from the past maybe you walked away from this person but now you're looking back and wanting to take a leap of faith with this person you're kind of in introspection mode and kind of in being in your head about if you want to offer this person love Okay, or if you just want to drop the burdens, move forward, move forward on your own by yourself. Okay, independently and give your cup elsewhere, possibly to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong emphasis on Pisces. Yeah, for some of y'all, you definitely gonna give your give your love and affection to a water sign because this person is your soulmate, especially if you begin dealing with this person in the month of June. So this will be a new person. Spirit, please clarify. The Ace of Wands. All right. Some of you are, some of you have new jobs coming in as well. You've been going back to school. Some of y'all are going to be going back to school as well. Possibly walking into like apprenticeships or something of that nature. But whatever it is that you're passionate about, you are going to be working really hard. And you are going to see your finances increase this month. It reads the shmoney energy is working for us, not against us, baby. Some of y'all have a Taurus that is a soulmate. Some of y'all are holding on to this person. And this person is coming back offering you material things, but you just want this person, you want to communicate, you know, maybe, hey, at this point, I have materially, I'm looking good over here, but I want love. I want love. I want affection. I want passion and not codependent as passion. I want passion as balance. For some of y'all, you've been wishing for a Sagittarius to come back. Here they come. Okay, there is passion. There is going to be renewed passion with this person, possibly after a period of deception. Okay, I feel like a lot of y'all are not getting any sleep, not wanting to see things clearly. Okay, or maybe you just want to live in this energy of being angry. Let that shit go. Put them burdens down, my baby. Let that shit go. Some of y'all feeling like that about a Virgo. Yeah, some of y'all got a Capricorn towards Virgo who did something deceptive in the past and wanted to make it a offer to you and you really in your head about this shit because for some of y'all somebody left you out in the cold or some of y'all are indecisive about leaving somebody out in the cold because some of y'all have people coming back and you internally fighting yourself about if you want to stay where you are 
currently, okay? Or if you want to kind of go back and revisit the past and areas you need to be truthful to yourself and make this decision. Because see here, this is an ace, okay? This is a nine. So once you put that nine, that ace with that nine, you went to ten of you, drop the, drop the, drop the burdens, okay? Drop that sword energy. Get out of that energy, all right? There is love in the situation as well as reconciliations, okay? And also for some of you, brand new love. God give me love. I got all three aces. Aces of rod, ace of swords, um, the ace of cups on the board, okay? But some of you, it's about taking a leap of faith, and now I got the ace of pentacles, all right? With the soulmate, all right? So things are going to materialize from my Aries, all right? For some of you, you're dealing with another Aries from your past, okay? That could involve a family situation. You are going to look to move backwards towards your past, communicate as the queen of swords, heal the situation. And for some of y'all, y'all are going to be able to move forward. Some of y'all got brand new money coming in. Money's looking good, Aries. Some of y'all, okay, are kind of have someone coming in to offer you financial assistance, but you want to cry over spilled milk or what happened in the past. Stop drinking milk shit. Crying over spilled milk and shit. You know, we're the only country that drink milk. Think about it. America. The fuck? I ain't getting into that. But some of you have a soulmate coming in to communicate. This person may say some shit. It may start off. This person may, some of y'all, you may have to turn up in order to bring the turn up to a cease, to a season period. But you're having to stand in your truth and speak your mind. You've been working on yourself, okay? And working on yourself, baby, is going to bring your wish. Whatever it is that you've been working on hard is going to bring the coin. It's going to bring your wishes. For Aries, some of you, you're going to move forward in management position and move forward as far as in some type of superior. Some of y'all have, um, Aries, some of y'all got new babies coming. You're going to be finding out you're pregnant. Congratulations to you, Aries. You're pregnant, Mocha Lud Kid. Congrats, babes. Right? Some of you have an Aquarius. Um, or some type of, ooh, some of y'all been wishing for a baby. You're going to get your wish, honey. Some of y'all have <laughs> a brand new soulmate offering you. Some of you have a brand new beginning in love. But you got an angry Gemini Libra Aquarius that is very childish. That is possibly trying to block that for you. Okay, this could be in your energy or external to your energy. Maybe the person who you're dealing with. Okay, but I do see. Huh, ain't no monkey's going to stop no show. Because I'm going to tell you something. Some of y'all are going to receive communication about a child with a Pisces. And it's coming in fast. And he go off. I have every ace that there can be in the deck on the board. Some of y'all are definitely going to be receiving communication about somebody who was deceptive to you in the past. Put any sign on it. But now this person wants to move forward. Apologize. And work on it. So Aries. Beautiful beginnings are coming to you. The bullshit shall cease. And life's going to do what it do. Just heal. Do what's best for you. Move forward. And I promise it's going to be beautiful things that happens for you. Ooh. If you need a personal, hit me up. That's what I have for my Aries from now to the 15th of August. I love y'all.